Friends, we're gathered here in the sight of God to celebrate the marriage of Megan and Tyler. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. Jesus, with his presence and power, graced a wedding in Cana, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example of love for husband and wife. Tyler and Megan now celebrate this holy covenant today. You can be seated. I ask you now, in the presence of God and these people, to affirm your intention to live in union with one another. Live through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself, as acknowledged in your baptism. Tyler, do you have Megan as your wife to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? In sickness and health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live. If so, say I will. I will. Megan, do you have Tyler as your husband to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say I will. Amen. Who presents the bride today? Her mother and I. Do you who represent their families rejoice in their union and pray God's blessing upon them? If so, say we do. We do. <laughs> Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two people in their marriage? If so, say we will. Thank you. God of all people, you are the true light illuminating everyone. You show us the way, the true, and the truth, and the life. You love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in our recognizing this solemn covenant through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I'm going to speak to Megan and Tyler for a moment, and the rest of you are welcome to listen in if you'd like. Now love is easy when everything is going well, Megan and Tyler. It becomes much more difficult when things don't go so well. In your later exchange of vows, you will each commit to love one another for better, for worse, for richer, or for poorer, in sickness and in health until death. In other words, it's acknowledgement that trials will come to you as they come to all marriages. God's holy word reminds us that it is our commitment to keep the vows that will sustain our love in the times of trial. In this way, love is sacrificial. Love requires us to make sacrifices. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or turn your back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a pastor and Christian martyr from World War II, reminded friends of his who were to be married that it's not their love that would sustain their marriage. Rather, it was their marriage that would sustain their love. It's through marriage that we learn what love is and we learn how to love one another. Paul, in our scripture, shares with us what love is. And the Gospels remind us that we are to love one another with patient, kind, never-ending love as God first loved us. We're called to love because God loves. So in reality, love isn't about feelings at all. It's about commitment and faithfulness to God, to one another, and to the vows you're going to make. You see, the person you're marrying today will not be the same person in 20 or 30 years. People grow, people change, people lose a step, we put on weight. Wrinkles will set in, as will customs and habits and idiosyncrasies. Even though each of you will change, the vow you are about to take will not. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years, 40 years from now, these vows will still apply. Because of this, marriage is one place where this kind of sacrificial love is really learned. And this is going to take some work. I promise you that. Marriage is an institution in which you will not only learn love, but you'll learn forgiveness, patience, understanding, humility, faithfulness, compromise, sacrifice, and so many other virtues. What's important is that you work at it and you learn and that you grow in love. So I encourage you in your journey. 
I wish you all more love and peace and excitement and laughter than you can possibly imagine. And I leave you with this final thought. There are three things that every married couple must say to, must say to each other regularly as they grow. I'm sorry, thank you, and I love you. In the spirit of our scripture today, the third you should say more than the other two combined. Let's pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace. Bless the sanctity, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Megan and Tyler, and bless their marriage. Grant that they may say their vows to each other in strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, Megan, please repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Megan, take you, Tyler. I, Megan, take you, Tyler. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Tyler, your turn. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Tyler, take you. I, Tyler, take you. Megan. Megan. To be my wife. <laughs> to be my wife. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. All right. These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and his church. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of, our, of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, Tyler, start with you. Yeah. It's my first time. Okay. All right, Tyler, repeat after me. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. All right, Megan, repeat after me. Tyler, I give you this ring. Tyler, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. <laughs> You've declared your consent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for consecrating in his name the marriage covenant of Megan and Tyler. Grant their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in the world. Depend, defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work, and in their companionship, in their sleeping, in their waking, in their joys, and in their sorrows, in their lives, and in their deaths. Finally, by your grace, bring them and all to us, and all of us, to that table where your saints will feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Tyler and Megan have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. 
I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those to whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time in public, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Estes. Tyler, you kiss your bride. May God, our eternal Father, keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home Go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. And to all of you folks, bear witness to the love of God in the world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you, generous friends, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And in the, community of, of, and in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen. <laughs>